Thank you so much for joining me for Vlogmas Day 21. There are just four days left of Vlogmas, so if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so down below. And don't forget to like this video by hitting that thumbs up button and ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload Vlogmas and beyond. Okay, let's get into today's episode. our holiday cars for all of our friends and family both near and far we are so blessed to have actually a global truly global community of friends and family and this is just one way at one point in the year that we can send them our love and gratitude and good wishes people send all sorts of cards at all sorts of different times of year and do a variety of things to make them special. My friend Michelle sends out Halloween and Galentine's cards and always makes them so interesting and beautiful. You might be a talented doodler and share some personalized doodles, uh, or you can just have it be simple, classy, effective with a very heartfelt note inside like this thank you card from our friends after their baby shower. We have a variety of cards to use this holiday season, which I'm really excited to get into. Um, and we'll have to, of course, choose the right cards for the right people. That's something that's just so important to both of us. But I think it's always good to add something special, you know, like my friend's drawings or my other friend's use of stickers and specialty paper. For you, it might be using a wax seal, including some florals, like an herb of some kind, or even giving it a special spritz of a unique scent that is maybe indicative of the time you've spent together or a smell that you associate with them, that kind of thing. We are going to be using the classic Kodak exposure cameras.
Okay, my writing arm is tired. We have made it most of the way through these, and tomorrow we will go get our photos developed and get these off into the mail. So good night for now. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. We are back. We are going to go drop off our camera. Uh, we're going to make a simmer pot. We're going to finish up some letters. Then we'll grab our prints, label those, and get them in the mail before the end of today. And then this video will probably come out uh, tonight as opposed to this morning. I, usually Thursday, they like to see videos in the morning, but who cares? Whatever. We're doing whatever we want. <laughs> um, so let's go get those things handled and... Uh, yeah, let's get this day started, shall we? Also, I thought I would dress appropriately for our holiday card mailing. This is the 100th anniversary of airmail sweatshirt, which I got in 2020 as a way to support uh, the U.S. Postal Service. Um, for those of you who are not in the know, the U.S. Postal Service is a service and it is one of the most, not the most, reliable methods of getting packages where they need to go. Even third party, um, package delivery services like UPS, FedEx, uh, it's the one that starts with D, you know, all of those, um, particularly for getting packages to rural areas or areas where there are um, very little signage, that kind of thing. USPS picks up those packages and gets them to the addresses they are destined for. It is a wonderful thing. Always support your local postal workers. They are the greatest. And yeah, just support them. This season, every season, we love the US Postal Service. I will say, I do find it very entertaining that on this, the shortest and most often called darkest day of the year, Seattle, which is pretty consistently uh, very gray, <laughs> not necessarily like rainy all the time, but like gray, it's fairly dark, especially in the winter, so we're far enough north that we get very short days. Um, today, Sunan gets done in with Sunan. And uh, I just think that's so cute. That's so funny. She was really like, oh, you thought? You thought? Uh-huh. You I, I always think that they have such cute stuff at Walgreens. Like, look at this little advent calendar or countdown calendar with a magnet, the snowflake magnet. That's so cute. That's so smart. I feel like I can make that, but still. They always have good deals. I do need wrapping paper for tonight. Do I want this? Or like, well, that was a bust because uh, nobody does the same day film photo printing <laughs> anymore, which, you know, I should have thought about, should have realized, um, but didn't. And, uh, oh well. So we're either going to send our cards in January with prints and going, haha, 2024, or we'll just send them without and we'll save that idea for next year. Now that we've lived and we have learned and we know better. Okay, also, I said or tried to say hello and like thank you for your work to a UPS delivery person. <laughs> They gave me the dirtiest look, and I didn't know why until I remembered I'm wearing the USB shirt. I don't think they compete, but like maybe they do compete, like especially around the holidays when there's lots of packages going out and stuff. I don't know, but I do think it's funny. And also, if you have a porch or something and are expecting a lot of packages, definitely leave out snacks, water, etc. for delivery folks because. Uh, it's cold, they're hungry, they're on bonkers timelines getting stuff done this year, um, this time of year. 
also highly I see I've seen a lot of people put out like prepackaged snacks and uh, like Olipops and that kind of thing and that's totally great and you should do that I also recommend hand warmers and like foot warmers that they can shake and put in their socks or in their feet because their uh, spaces are very open and it is freezing so yes I highly recommend doing all of that and like hand sanitizer and stuff so uh, don't don't be me. Get your film developed with plenty of time to spare. Okay, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do next, and in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna keep walking my cat. <laughs> Man, I love this time of year. I like I love seeing packages arriving and having everybody just be like, even when we're stressed, be in like such good spirits. It's so pleasant. So today is the solstice and a lot of people like to make simmer pots on the solstice. For some people it has deep spiritual meaning, for other folks more like myself, uh, we love good scents in the home. And you can make a simmer pot any time of year, there are lots of different uh, recipes depending on the time of year. Uh, and I am really frustrated because I 100% thought that I had cinnamon sticks in the house, but it turns out they were all used for our party, so I'm a little peeved about that, but like, it's fine. You don't need cinnamon sticks in the simmer pot, and I have ground cinnamon, which is not the same, but we can throw it in. For our simmer pot, we have cloves. These are whole cloves. Again, you want to use whole things as much as you can. We have cranberries, orange, uh, lemon and star anise. I love the scent of star anise. I love licorice. I <laughs> love absinthe and araka. And I, oh my gosh, I very conveniently put all my knives over here uh, when I cleaned the kitchen and then I just kind of forgot where they were. Um, yeah, I love anise. I know it's not for everybody, but it's just so rich and relaxing to me. Um, and I love including it in simmer pots because it really does not take much to get a strong anise flavor. And I know some people say anise, um, but uh, I say anise because it's I-S-E, and so it makes the eye long, so it's anise. Um, and there's different kinds of anise, but I think the most popular here in the States is the star anise, which you can usually get um, in the, like, nut, spice, etc. whole grain, whole food section of your local grocery store. And ours came from uh, the town and country near us, the Ballard Market there. So let's make a simmer pot. All you need is pot, some water, uh, follow a recipe if you want. I've made these a couple of times, so I'm pretty confident in what I'm using. All you have to do is place your simmer pot. I like to fill mine about halfway full with water, knowing that a lot of our ingredients will displace the water and let's go ahead and add in our big stuff first we have a couple of navel orange slices some cranberries two star anise pots some clove and of course some lemon. I already added my lemon. Let's just add a little bit of juice as well there. And we'll just put this burner on the low back here and let it be. Alright friends, that's where we're going to leave things for today because I actually need to get started on filming for Vlogmas tomorrow. Uh, so let's get this all edited, wrapped up with a bow. Uh, so we can move on to things for Vlogmas Day 22. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I hope this is a joyful time for you and not a stressful time for you. And if it is stressful, 
please know that you are not alone and that reaching out to your community, whether it's through a holiday card or a phone call or a quick text is always the best cure for the winter blues. Okay, that's all for now. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed uh, these card ideas. Uh, comment down below. Tell me if you are someone who likes to send or receive cards at any point in time during the year. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you have liked Vlogmas. If you haven't watched any of my other Vlogmas videos, go ahead and do so now on my channel. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're notified when I upload tomorrow. Alrighty friends, that's all for now. Goodbye!